Well, that looks awful blurry. Apologize for that. What's going on here? Give me a second here. We'll see if we can't fix that with the camera. Whew, I made it even worse. Well, the good news is you won't have to look at me very long because we're just going to finish up that tax return today. So let me bring that up here. Form 1040. Okay. So you'll see that yesterday we had made it through line 18B there with the additional child tax credit. Uh, and so we're on, uh, we're going to finish up line 18 here. So 18C is the American Opportunity Credit. So let's look at the instructions for line 18C and see, no pun intended, uh, what it is we have to do. So if you meet the requirements to claim an education credit, see the instructions for schedule three, line three, into on line 18C, the amount, if any, from 8863, line eight. Uh, so do we, do we, did we meet the requirements for a Schedule 3? Uh, we, we looked at that yesterday and decided we didn't meet anything for Schedule 3, so we don't have to worry about 18C or 18D then. So number uh, letter E is add lines 18A through 18D, and what we get is 18B was just 9912. That was the only one. The others were zero, so 9912 is what we're going to enter there. Now we add lines 17 and 18E. Uh, so 17, it was 61.89. I'm bringing up my calculator here. So 71.89 plus, I'm sorry, 61.89 plus 99.12. And $16,101 is what we got here. So uh, add line 1718A, these are your total payments, $16,101. Now it says in line 20, if line 19 is more than line 16, which it definitely is, subtract line 16 from line 19. So we'll take 16,101 minus 4,649 and we get 11,452. This is the amount we overpaid, 11,452. So line 21, the amount of line 20 you want refunded to you, uh, we probably want all of that back, so the 11,452. Uh, and then line 21 is just your bank information, uh, amount of line 20 you want. Uh, if you want to pay ahead on your taxes, line 22 is what you would enter there uh, line 23, if you owe anything, so uh, if you subtract line 19 from line 16 and it was a positive number, then you would actually owe taxes uh, and you would put that amount in 23. And then, of course, your signature, spouse's signature, the McDonald's, and then you as the tax preparer would sign below that. So just really quickly, I want to make sure that everything's right, uh, particularly that additional child tax credit. So let me uh, pull up again the Schedule 8812. Make sure I've done everything on right there. So we got 6,000 uh, for the child tax credit. The amount from 1040 line 13A was 46.49. Subtract line two from line one, that gives us 1,351. Number of qualifying children under 17, three times 1,400 is 4,200. The smaller of line three or line four uh, would have been the 1,351. Uh, six earned income, uh, 68,582 between the two of them. Uh, is the amount on line 6A more than 2,500? Yes, subtract 2,500. From the amount on line 6A, we get 66,082. Multiply the amount on line 7 by 15%. Uh, and then next on line 4 is the amount $4,200 or more. Uh, yes. If line eight is equal to or more than line five, uh, 
skip part two and enter the amount from line five on line 15. So it looks like we did everything correctly here. So what we would have to mail in after we signed everything would just be our form 1040 that we've just done here. And then uh, after that, we would have had to do the uh, schedule one here where we would enter our student loan interest deduction our schedule 8812 that we just looked at and we don't have to worry about the earned income oops and that's something else so that's all we would need just the schedule 8812 and the schedule one and our form 1040 um, and we don't have to do anything else so print those off send them in so hopefully you learned a little bit something about how to do a tax return, how to get through it. Uh, today was really short because we didn't have very much to do on there anymore. And I will say this, last year, the tax return was about 75 lines. So it is very much shortened with some changes in the tax law to make it easier for people to file their taxes. Of course, next year, it might be up to 50. It might be up to 125. We don't know uh, because every year Congress, you know, does different things with the tax laws. And that's why it's very hard to teach because these things are very individual and they're constantly changing and there's a lot of them. So hopefully this is enough information for you to feel comfortable like, okay, I kind of get a feel for what goes into doing a tax return. And someday if, it, if I'm doing my own, I can at least know how to sit down and look for the information and kind of judge it. And if I'm not doing my own, I kind of know what goes into it. So I won't be taken uh, for a sucker, basically. So that's really all I had today just to finish up the tax return. So I hope you guys have a good weekend and we'll see you next week.